this is Magnar and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode I'm going to talk to you about uh, common errors and problems people run into uh, when creating uh, units. And as you can see here there are five common ones which I'm going to be discussing in this episode. If you have other errors uh, then just write in the comments and I will add all them in a future episode. Uh, we're going to work in, the, in order, so just quickly go through the different ways that we we'll, can identify uh, problems with our mod pack, which add units. First is that the mod will crash when you try to start it up. Second one being uh, when you select custom battle in the main screen, then the game will crash. Uh, number three a unit is invisible and usually that'll be you'll be able to see the officer for the unit but uh, all the main soldiers you can't see then there's one where multiple parts multiple bits of equipment uh, are not visible with the unit and then also another one where the weapon cannot be seen with the unit um, so let's start from the start mod crashes uh, when you launch the mod uh, pretty much always a result uh, let's have a look here of the table, different database tables trying to look up another table that it's dependent on and not being able to find uh, what it's meant, what's meant to be there and one of the major causes for this is typos so if you have here say for this we put an X in there. If we try to launch this mod, launch this mod now, because there's this table here, main units, is looking up the land units table, and it's looking up this value here. This value no longer exists in land units because um, we've made a typo deliberately in this case, um, and won't be able to find it, and it'll just go into a loop until it can without being able to find it and then it will cause a crash and the game won't even load up so if you get if you have that problem you need to go either go through all your entries and make sure that there are no typos whether it be an extra space on the end or an X or whatever you whatever you may have done and this is why I always say as much as you can use copy and paste um, from other cells so that you don't accidentally uh, make a typo. So that's how to find that. That's not only for unit creation, that's for any other kind of changes you make in the database tables. If it crashes, it crashes at that point at the load screen, then it is because of that. Sometimes I find it actually faster just to remake the unit uh, than to, than to uh, try to find the typo because there's so many different places it could be um, it could take quite a while if you've made a whole bunch of units all at once and there's a typo then uh, the only way, way I can think of if you haven't um, done it by using a spreadsheet and copy and pasting is to just delete units one by one until you can launch and then you find out then you know which unit is causing that crash and that helps you narrow it down where the typo or the, the problem is. Next one, if the mod crashes at custom battle screen, that will be because there is a limit to the number of units uh, each faction can have access to in custom battles. Uh, that, that cap changes, it used to be about 70 or 69, uh, then a, from a recent patch it went down to about 55 I have no idea what it currently is, but if you have that happen to you, there's a good chance that you've um, either got other mods which also add units to that faction, or you've added a lot of units to that faction yourself, which go over that cap. And so the reason it will cr crash is because you'll select that faction in the custom battle, and it'll try to find all the units, and it'll hit, hit the limit and won't be able to do anymore. And that's all that is. Um, so yeah, you'll have to go in and you should delete 
some units, you have to pick which ones, until you get down to that uh, cap number. Invisible units, number three. Invisible units are caused also by a typo, but there's some typos that won't cause a mod to crash. So the invisible unit one, um, typos in the database table, which reference other database tables, will cause that number one crash on launch. Typos with regards to looking up variant mesh definitions and all that kind of stuff, they will not cause the mod to crash when loading, but they just won't appear on the unit. So if we look at, if we have this here, Greek Hopelite's magnitude, and if we go into where that's referenced in the database table, being unit variance, and we change the variant name here for the Greek Hopelites, and we make that, the capitals don't matter. See, it's small, small, all lowercase here, and this one's got some capitals in there. But if I have an X in there as well, then this unit will become invisible when I load up the game. The officer will still be there. Actually, no, the officer won't be there either. The officer won't be there because... Um, oh, sorry, yeah. The officer will be there because the officer is assigned by the unit. But the variant mesh for just the, uh, the other units that aren't the officers, the other soldiers which aren't officers, is assigned here. So you'll see an invisible unit with officers um, but a ghost army. So that's another kind of typo that can be done and that's how to notice when you've made that kind of a typo. It's the same thing with unit cards. If the unit card is a default unit card it's because you've made a typo here or, or they don't match what you've got in your uh, unit card folders. It'll just be the I the main one will be um, icons. So if you have the default unit card, which is I think a Hastati on a boat, um, then your default unit card will be. Well, that, uh, it means your unit card here in the icons doesn't match the unit co unit card name here. Um, if your you, if you've added a mask to the unit card and the unit card shows up with the right icon but greyed out then you've got a problem with uh, how you've named the mask which isn't anything to do with the database tables it's just making sure that you've got that underscore mask underscore one dot png okay so that's invisible units next one is missing equipment on a unit now this missing equipment I guess you could have all of the unit um, well most of the unit pretty much invisible depending on where you make the mistake and the way this mistake is made is in the variant mesh definition so if you have a unit and it's missing pants and it's missing uh, a shirt but you're sure that you've actually added it jump into your um, variant mesh definition for the unit and the main reason will be because if you look at the end there's a closing bracket on each line and there's also a, a slot close here. If it's um, quite often, if you leave that closing bracket out, uh, it doesn't realize that that line is over and then everything underneath that will not appear. So if I leave that out there, then these types of helmets will not appear. The pink linen thorax won't appear, the grease won't appear. And then I just kind of look at the unit, I look at what it has, and I work my way backwards. I go, okay, does it got pink linen thorax? No, it hasn't. Has, does it have the attic crest? No, attic, no. Does it have a Thracians with crests? Yes, it does. Okay, so that's where the, uh, clo the, the forward slash is missing, and you can enter it, and then it should load. Or if I go, okay, they've got helmets, but they haven't got clothing, cloaks, it could also be that maybe the slot, the closing slot statement is missing. And then you just have to enter it in. And then it should be all good. Uh, lastly, actually, no, I've missed one here, haven't I? Okay. There's another one which I'll add. Where a unit is invisible when you zoom out. I'll get to that one after I do the 
missing a weapon. So sometimes a unit's got a weapon and a, you, it, you can't see it, it's invisible. Um, and you've checked your variant mesh definition and the weapon is definitely there. So this one's got a short sphere. So you're 100% sure that you've added this line correctly. There's no missing uh, forward slashes or end of statements or whatever above it. But the weapon isn't showing. And the reason for that is an animation issue. So if you go to your land units, and say we're looking at the spear, so we go to this unit here that we've made. Um, we go to the man animation column and we check that the animation for the unit is correct. So if we had this animation, man, sword, shield, for this unit, then the hope light would not have any weapon when we load it up. It would have the shield because that's what the animation allows, both animations allow for, but it would not have a spear. So whenever your unit is missing a weapon, go back and check the animation is correct. If you've added custom animations, then you'll have to, of course, go back to your own animation table and make sure that you've, your animation table has the right animations for that weapon. Okay, now the one that I forgot to put in at the start is when a unit is invisible when the camera zooms out. Now this, uh, if you've watched my advanced variant mesh definition, um, tutorial, you'll already know what a, an imposter model is. If you haven't, I'll quickly go over it again. Now, so let's put in, let's have a look at this variant mesh definition for the pink linothorax for this tutorial unit. And you can see here in the mesh definition for BMD for the armor. We have the tunic model, and then it has an imposter model. All right, so this is the, the, the tunic that we want to use. Same with the armor. So we have the armor model, so it says model there, and it goes to the pink linothorax model, which we've got customized. But it also has an imposter model, which is a different model altogether. And that is because um, the, the, they switch once the camera zooms out to a certain distance. And this just helps with performance because rather than having each unit with however many different um, armors it has, you can just have one and then it, it makes it quicker to uh, better performance with much more um, units to, pack to, to draw to. So when you zoom out, and your units are invisible. It either means, A, you've made a typo with your imposter model, um, so it links to something which, so maybe we leave that A and we just have an empty bracket. That would make it in, uh, invisible when we zoom out because the there is no valid uh, imposter model because this armor doesn't exist. Or, the other problem could be that you don't you haven't actually added an imposter model. If you're using the vanilla armors, uh, vanilla armor VMDs, and not creating your own variant mesh definitions for your own custom armor sets or weapon sets or what have you, uh, then you won't have a problem. You won't ever encounter this problem. But if you do want to kind of make your own mixes and um, create your own little sets, also with shields, then you will need to have uh, imposter models each time you reference a model directly to avoid having it zoom out and the piece of equipment disappear. So the imposter model is most noticeable of course for skin um, and, and armor and tunics and legs but the smaller things like if you have a, a torque or a, a wristband you might not notice it so much when you zoom out when it disappears better to be on the safe side and always keep your imposter model in there. I'm not going to save this so it'll stay correct. And that's how you fix it. Go in and put an imposter model in. Uh, and that's all there is to those six errors and how to fix them. Like I said before, if you, ha if you have other errors which are coming up or other problems with your units, uh, write in the, in the comments and I will possibly do another 
tutorial on how to fix any additional errors that come up. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.